obviously only a few days away from a massive pay-per-view here in down under a, a country that's been you know starved for a big event so what are the emotions now that camp's over with and all you got to do is make weight and go fight in a sold out arena yeah man at, at this point i'm just uh just excited just uh all, all things uh have gone well we're we're ready to go we're we're in shape and um it's time to go now what do you make of your opponent? I think he's like 20, 21 years old, 100% finish rate, very highly dangerous coming into enemy territory. So what do you make of his skill set and what he'll bring into the octagon? Yeah, he's good, man. I've, I've watched a couple of the fights. Um, he's well-rounded. He's, he's going to be dangerous, young, hungry. Should be, should be good. I've spoken with some fighters in the past, and they say it's dangerous to have that high of a finish rate and have that many wins and be that young entering the UFC because maybe you still feel like you're invincible before facing the veterans. Do you agree with that statement that maybe these young guys coming in like this, uh, it's, it's maybe a mistake to kind of like build, like feed into your own hype like that? Um, yeah, look, it, it, I remember that feeling. I, I was nine and zero, and when I, when I fought Alex Volkanovsky and I ran into a brick wall there, um, and I'd, I'd say this weekend will be similar. He'll, like, he, he's, he's super dangerous. The, the dangerous thing about someone who hasn't lost a fight is they've got that self-belief that every single fight's going to go that way. Um, can be dangerous for me, and but also dangerous for him. So I'm, I'm just going to look to show the levels and uh, just show that he's not quite ready for, for my backyard. So, given the assessment right there, what does the headline say after your fight? How do you finish this fight? We're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> no predictions here. And I saw on Instagram that you did, like, a presentation at your old high school. Uh, they had, like, UFC veteran Jamie Malarkey. So, what was it like to go back there and, you know, speak to the kids? That, that was sick, man. It, that was really cool. Um, presented some awards and just uh, gave a little bit of a, a chat and had a chat with the kids and... Um, it was cool to go back there and uh, re almost like a uh, trip down memory lane and uh, see just just get to get to know the kids and um, it was it was really good really really fulfilling. Did you get in many fights in high school? No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't uh, much of a scrapper in the, in school. Uh, final one for me. How do you see the main event going between Volkanovski and Islam? Man, um, I think it's going to be a good fight. <clears throat> We're all the winners in that fight, but um, I see a late stoppage for, for Alex. Hey, Jamie, uh, what does it feel like to basically run your entire career out of the Central Coast? You're a Central Coast boy. You've been able to make it to the absolute peak of the sport while still being able to stay home. Uh, is there any extra pressures? Do you have to bring guys in? Uh, what's the process been like for you? Yeah, um, it's it's unreal to be representing my home my hometown, um, and it, it just shows that like your what what you put in in the gym and what you're willing to do, the sacrifices you're willing to make, how how persistent you're you, you're willing to be, that's what gets you there. Um, that's what that's what I've done my whole career. I've just stuck at it, stuck at it, stuck at it, and yeah, it feels it feels good. Now, you fought in Vegas, Abu Dhabi, Melbourne. You're gearing up for Perth. Uh, does where you fight uh, impact you getting ready at all, and, and do you have a preference? Uh, preference is always to be at home. Um, it's, it's just smoother, more mellow. I think that the jet lag is just uh, another obstacle that you have to deal with when you're fighting away from home. But Honestly, man, once I'm in the cage, it, it, it seriously doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where I am. It's it's me, my opponent, and the ref in that cage, and that that's what's going to be uh, in my head. Is even when I'm locked in there with Francisco, this home crowd uh, pressure that everyone talks about. It's it's not real. It's it's just uh, it's it's going to be me and him in there, and that's that's what it will be. Thank you. Hey Jamie, uh, what's it been like training down at the the Wolves Den? Ah, uh, yeah, it was good, man. I uh, got down to Wolves Den for a day at the start of the week, and uh, yeah, awesome, awesome gym, awesome facility.